Uh, this city is mostly villas, um, not many buildings higher than second or third floor, and only a few apartment complexes. Rent's really high in this area. In Ankawa, a house, a 120 meter house, ranges between uh, between twelve hundred and fifteen hundred dollars a month. Um, a bigger house, you know, two hundred fifty or three hundred. 300 meter house you know, runs 2,000, 2,500 a month. Um, and then on top of that, you've got the responsibility of putting in your own uh, kitchen, your own furniture, your own air conditioner units, and you know, things like this. Uh, so you can, you can get a lot of expenses racked up pretty quick. Well, like, it's interesting because you have um, homes, like, I've seen homes in compounds such as American Village, Royal City, English Village. They are very luxury homes, and I can't afford that. But I've been to these houses where they have full power, full, you know, water system. Now I live in Ankawa, which sometimes the city power goes off and... I mean, it's getting better. There were times where we didn't have any power for like 10 hours, but now it's, it's getting be better. Oh, the standard is are very, very low, very, very low standards for building, construction in general. So basically, I mean, this, this is probably also one of the toughest uh, things about living here, that nothing works. Um, so, you know, you have a long, hard day at work, you go home and, you know, you have to sweep the water after your shower into the drain because the level is, is, is higher than the rest of the floor. At first it's kind of difficult finding, you know, who to pay the money for electricity to and the water and things like this and if they, I won't say in general, but if there's bad guys just like there is good guys everywhere and, you know, sometimes people come in and uh, you know, give you a water bill that's not real and things like this, then the real guy comes back a couple days later. And <laughs> well, at home the houses are wonderful and um, insulated and nice and warm. Here they are filled with holes and cracks and mistakes and um, it gets very, very, very cold at winter and very, very, very hot at summer. Um, so that, that is a difficult thing to live with. Live during a cold winter without, uh, you know, when the, without any proper insulation, that is, that is tough. In the, quality, in the standards and quality of, of, of um, construction, that's the only difference. The quality of construction. The quality of construction, yes. But I'm sure that will come with the time that it will improve the, the quality of construction, the infrastructure. You know, when I first came to Iraq, not having electricity 24 hours a day was kind of weird. Um, but you can adjust to it, you know, it's, uh, you know, we have, a, we have a generator now and our power goes out three or four times a day and then the generator kicks on, it's, it's you know, if you're in the middle of watching a movie on TV or whatever and then you end up missing five minutes of it, it drives you nuts, but uh, so you just gotta, you gotta adjust to the surroundings. In the last year, I've moved four times until I have finally found the right house at the right price. So it has been relatively difficult to find a good place at an affordable rent uh, with regards to value for your money. And uh, the reason is the demand is very high, the supply is low, the city is booming at a very fast rate, and the rent is becoming much more expensive. Uh, since I've been here a year and a half ago, it has definitely doubled and still going up.